what's up y'all I'm just gonna invite you guys into my bathroom <sighs> that's what I'm gonna be working on today I have been doing so many different projects around the house that um, I have failed to come in and record all of them um, when I updated my bedroom my whole plan was to let you guys in on how I did it what I did and all of that and I couldn't find my memory card so I ended up having to wait for a memory card to be mailed to me so that I could in turn do a turn around and do a video for you guys but by that time I had already did my bedroom so I wasn't able to show you guys what I did how I did it so when I do show you a completed look of my bedroom I'm pretty much just gonna go through and show you what my bedroom looks like and tell you what all I made and try to give you an uh, a view of how I did it that's the only way that I know to do it um, but through the quarantine I've been working and doing so many parts of my house that I'm very very proud of myself because I have honestly kind of completed most of everything that I was going to do so um, yeah this particular time since I am available and I have a new memory card I am going to show you guys today what I am working on in my bathroom I'm gonna show you the real raw images of what my bathroom looks like right now and then I'm going to try to bring you guys along as I try to clean it and design it to what I want it to be. There are some things we are replacing, some things that we're not able to replace right now. But we're going to try our best to kind of spruce it up, change it around, and make it look decent. I didn't bring anybody in to help me with this bathroom. Me and T did it ourselves. So pretty much everything is DIY. I'm going to show you the real raw. Um, I'm not going to hide anything back. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like, how nasty it is because I want you to get a full vision of what it's gonna look like when it's done. So, are you guys ready? I hope you are, because there's no turning back now. All right, you guys, here is the raw raw. When you first look into my bathroom, you see all this stuff that's on the floor. I got stuff everywhere. I took the knobs off of the cabinet so that I could repaint them. I got stuff all over my sink. Um, I am going to repaint that light fixture up there. I gotta replace these light fixtures. Um, on the back of the door, it's just my little shower caddy. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. You just see the overall view of the bathroom. It looks pretty horrid right now, but we're gonna get to this like, and fix it up and make it do what it needs to do. But this is the gist of it right now. This is the um, light fixture that I took off of my bathroom and of Zaven's bathroom. And I took this and just spray painted it along with the, what is that, the light bulb, um, things that hold the light bulbs. I just took it and spray painted it, you guys, with some matte black or some chalk. It was chalk paint. So this is the chalk paint that I used. And then I went over it with some polyurethane just to try to keep the keep it from chipping. Right here I'm showing you guys um, some shelves that my husband actually cut and made for me. I um, wanted to hang some shelves up on the wall and as you guys know if you any of you know if you go and search for shelves you're gonna pay a pretty penny for it but you don't have to pay that much if you do it yourselves and we just got us some I don't know if these I don't think these are two by fours I have to ask my husband what the exact measurement is but he cut them down for me so that I could get a total of three shelves out of them and I am going to put them on the wall above my toilet to add in some decorations and this right here is just the L brackets that we got I got a pack of L brackets and I spray painted them with the same spray paint that I used on those light fixtures just the matte black to help coordinate all the colors together so right here you guys I'm showing you the mirror that Turgi and I created I did not get the exact measurements of it but I will try to put it in the description bar down below to 
tell you the exact measurements. Um, right here, I am hanging those shelves and I'm just actually finding a place on the wall that I feel like is the right place to put them. And then I'm making sure that they are straight by putting the level on top of the shelf. And as soon as I get it as straight as that needs to go, then I'm just gonna mark it with a pen to um, make sure that I put the screws in the exact place. I thought I could do this by myself. I really did. I thought I could be she woman and just get it done without having anybody to help me. But yeah, no, I don't know who I was trying to kid. So I did end up having to call Zaven in to help me get this situated. He had to hold it um, <laughs> while I put the screws in, in the wall. I don't know what made me think that I could get it done without anybody helping me, but yeah, there goes my mind. So yeah, he came in and he held the shelves for me and I just screwed them in the wall and they were done, all three of them. It was pretty simple too. One thing that I would say with these shelves is, um, the bigger the shelves or the longer the shelves, you may need to have more brackets. But because my shelves were not that um, long, I didn't have to use them. Now you can use um, as many brackets as you feel like you need to just for the support, depending on what you're gonna put on top of it. But I knew that I wasn't gonna have anything super heavy on top of these shelves to where two brackets wasn't gonna be able to support them. So um, you'll see as we go on up, that I added the next shelf and then the other one that I'm gonna put up on top of it is just that little shelf and I only needed one bracket for those. Um, but you can choose the brackets that you want and again, depending on what you're gonna put on these shelves is how many brackets that you will need. So right here you'll see that I'm getting ready to mount a sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and this is really easy to do too whenever you're getting ready to hang any type of picture frame or something that's going to require you to measure it out. The simple method to do that is just take you some toothpaste, put it on the markers on the back of the shelf or whatever it is that you're going to be hanging, press it to the wall and then the toothpaste is going to leave a mark on the wall. And then once it does that, you'll know exactly where to put your nails or your screws at so that the picture can be straight and you don't have to go about it doing it, you know, the hard way. <laughs> So I got some pictures printed out. I, I bought a print from um, online at Etsy and I just got them printed off at Walmart and they're simple. This is what it looks like. Just relax, wash your worries away and get naked. And then to kind of bring in some contrast to my bathroom, I decided to bring in white frames. So I got these frames, if I can set it up for you. I got these frames right here. They are 11 by 14 matted. So there's a, it's a 14 by 18 frame, but it fits an 11 by 14 picture. And I just got these to go on the wall just to kind of bring in color. I got them from Walmart. They were on clearance for $7. So this is what the frames actually look like after I got them done. And I think they look very, very good. So I'm going to go and put them on the wall and then I'll show you what they look like after that. All right. So those are my signs on my wall. Try to get a good angle for you because the bathroom is not that big. So you got to wash your worries away. Relax. I mean, not relax, but get naked and then relax. It's over there behind the door. Right there. And they look pretty darn good. So we're almost through with the bathroom. Toji is actually installing our new fixture. 
So we decided to change the one that we had because it was like really, really rusted. Rusty. Wow, I have not seen the sink that clean in a minute because that's how rusty our um, fixture was. So this gives you an idea if I can actually show you. I might have to get tea to hold it up. But it's nasty. Look how disgusting. Like, you see all the rust and stuff right there? And it's just, it was horrible. So, look, that's even green. If I can get it this focus. Yeah, nasty. So, we decided to go with the black one. And I got it from, let me turn on some light so you guys can see. I ordered it off of Amazon. And it was really inexpensive. But it's just a little black fixture um for the faucet it's like 42 dollars i got two of them so that um zavin's zavin's fixture is actually broken so we needed to change his too pull it out I'm trying to one hand this you guys but it's just a black matte fixture it's really pretty here it is so that's what it looks like and I'll show you guys what it looks like after he gets it installed all right he did it let me turn it on full speed any leaking nope <laughs> that's the hot with the red to indicate that it's hot and then this is the cold to indicate the blue indication is cold. All right, you guys. So I'm getting ready to give you the final update of the bathroom, just to give you an overview of what it looks like. Here it is from the door. So when you walk in, um, you see the shower curtain that I purchased. I got this from Amazon, and I want to say I paid $19 for it. And I just thought it was super cute when I saw it. It is a shower curtain that just says some, some see a weed and then some see a wish. So it's like a dandelion pretty much. And I just thought it was rustic. It was nice inviting and went with the theme. It was really cool. So I grabbed that. My little mats that I got on the floor, I got from a place called Roses. I just grabbed something just super simple, nothing too big. That's the cornice that we made to go on the, well, Turgy made to go to hide the shower curtain. Plus, we wanted it to give that more rusted look as well. When you come over here, these are the shelves that T made. And I just threw some decorations on top of it. Um, up at the top, that is just right there. That's just an incense holder. We don't really use it because um, the way that it's supposed to use ashes and stuff falls. So I just added it for the decor. I have a candle. That neat TP um, block I got from Hobby Lobby. And it was during the sale of the 50% off. That um, is an incense block that we have too that we do use and right behind it is where we keep the incense and the lighter. Um, just some towels for us to grab. That sign right there, the eat more, worry less, I got from Hobby Lobby along with the please be sweet and wipe the seat. Um, the basket, I'm not sure where I got it from because I've had it for a while. So I just keep tissue stocked on top of it. Over here, you can see where our sink area is, and that's where I well got you guys know I painted the seat, the sink, or whatever. So, um, the little basket right there I got from Hobby Lobby. Actually, I paid regular price for that, and that was just only $7.99. The floor arrangement I made it all came from Dollar Tree. The cabinet, um, I will probably end up repainting, but I didn't do it this time. But I am going to buy some black knobs. I did take those knobs and update it and just spray painting them black. But I don't like it really because if you get a little close, you can see where they're chipping. But it works for now. 
the faucet um you remember t did it and there's the mirror i gotta add another light up there i got that from hobby lobby along with that over here is where we keep our towels you have a his you have a hers and then of course you guys saw the signs All right, you guys, so this is an overview of what my bathroom looks like after it is completed. I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think. I'm going to try to leave everything that I used and where I got stuff in the description bar. If you enjoyed this type of video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I'll know to do more. Also, you can conversate with us back and forth in the comment section. We would love to know your thoughts, your ideas of any um upcoming projects that we may have coming and just you know just to chit chat with you guys again thank you so much for watching this video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you guys in the next video bye